much of the social history being done on Japan now is so-called cafe society, really focusing on that. This is a book that the Museum of Modern Art in uh, Boston, the MFA, put out recently, The Brittle Decade, Visualizing Japan in the 1930s, really shows the range of materials. And for their cover, they have cafe waitresses. They're very elegant places to eat little delicacies and desserts, coffee, tea, liquor. Is this really such an important part of, of city life? I think it's, it's a highly symbolic part of city life. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, caf these cafes tended to cater pri predominantly to male clientele. Uh, who were, and so it, it's not necessarily a family, family oriented business, but it was seen as uh, one of the features of urban entertainment in this period. And perhaps the more evocative was the figure of the cafe waitress, who is seen as an example of, again, these we mentioned earlier of how women begin to emerge as protagonists on the streets of Tokyo during this period. And cafe waitress symbolized uh, a new major category of women who are professional women uh, who are involved, uh, who are fully employed on their own, uh, are making their earnings, uh, oftentimes single, uh, and they are seen as both sign of progress, but also from perhaps more, more conservative perspective, uh, a potential of social decay and uh, gender roles being broken down. And the cafe waitress in some sense concentrates those perspective because her jobs oftentimes involve uh, not just serving tea or coffee or alcohol, but by offering sort of offering herself as a conversation partner to these predominantly male clientele. So uh, again, she's she is an ambivalent figure, uh, I think, to the people who are consuming uh, her image uh, through these woodlock prints, or more often the case in film and magazines. What you said reminds us that the women coming in, not just the men, but the women coming in are looking for jobs in the city, and new jobs for women are opening up. One can be cafe waitress, another can be a clerk in the department store, or someone standing by the elevators in the department store, others as secretaries, mm -hmm. and you see much uh, graphics of people at the typewriters, to working on typewriters. Uh, at that, so the city becomes a place of new employment opportunities. Absolutely, for and becomes home to a larger number of both working class people as well as the beginnings of middle class people in Japan. Uh, people who are employed, salaried employees of major corporations, uh, who have graduated from universities uh, and their families. Um, and again, it's worth emphasizing that this new middle class life uh, is oftentimes more of an ideal rather than a reality, probably throughout the 1930s. The proportion of people who counted as middle class never amounted more than 20% of the total population of Tokyo. And so we're, we are talking about a minority, but a significant minority who's capturing the imagination of a growing number of Japanese.